Hey, what's up, Hot Garbage Squad? It's the young Ash here. Oh, she is struggling today. She does not want to be held. How about how about right here? You want to be held right here? Hello, young Ash. Young Ash. They want you for content. They don't even want me. They want you. They want you for content. They, oh, she is struggling. Oh, did you hear that meow? Okay, anyways, I'll let her be. So if you guys haven't already dropped a like for the young Ash, maybe drop a like for her now or drop a like because you like the series. Anyways, this is episode 13, I think. Episode 13, Transcendence Scroll. So for those who are new to the series, this series is intended for me to play Summer's War in 2020 and just try things out with the new QL updates and how much the easier the game is nowadays. It's not meant to be a guide on how to do step-by-step -step progression in 2020 to be a good player. It's just intended for me to have fun and you can always use it as a reference point to get good. So I think this team is looks pretty good here. Or maybe I can drop the best thingy here. Remember last time I just nuked it with the Mav, the TOE90 team? Like maybe I can nuke the boss with the TOE90 team. So my Bethany is now six star max with these stats. So let's go ahead and try this team. The same team that I use for TOE90, all right? Um, ooh, okay, I shouldn't auto this first of all. Should not auto. I'm not gonna use skill two or skill three on my Sigmaris because I'm about to get clapped with the, uh, ooh, nice cleansing, okay. Reduce, it, reduce thing, because I don't wanna do skill three because the Junos are gonna heal back up. So I know a lot of people struggle on this stage because the Junos counter Sigmaris essentially, right? So it's a big thing, and I'm gonna go heal like this. And then my defense, hopefully my defense break a Juno. Defense break a Juno and then try to one-shot it. I don't know if I will, but I'm gonna try to one-bop one of these Junos here. Um, if I don't one-bop him, the whole team is gonna mega heal. Um, yeah, the whole team's gonna mega heal anyways. Do some damage, all right, perfect. Now the rest of these can go ahead and do damage. I don't care if the rest of the rest heal. Got rid of two, we are good to go here. Reduce cooldown, fantastic. And there we go, the healing comes in here. Uh-huh, yep, expected. I want the heal. Yep, why not? Because I still have lots of cooldowns here. Go for you. Reduce attack bar. Nuke. Pretty lucky that I kept my attack bar. Pretty good. Heal. Then go for this. I want to save the last monster for cooldown recycling. So the last monster, I'm going to use first skill over and over again to make sure that I have all my cooldowns back up. Okay, so this is the guy. I'm gonna blast with skill ones. And we should be good here, right? Get all our cooldowns back. 26k, not sh not too shabby, not too shabby here. Okay. Next stage. This stage should be a lot easier because we have immunity, so these things can't do anything. So let's go for the Veramos instead. And then try to not even one drop it. Okay. This should kill though. The second skill with the arrows should kill. Does not kill, but that's okay. Everything's frozen, very safe. Fairmost cleanse, and we should still be in a very good spot here. Like, still a very good spot. Uh, go for the heal for safety. Uh, go for defense break here, because I'm gonna go be greedy and kill it right here. Right, first skill, no need to use that. And then we can cycle cooldowns right here. 70k, 70k. Dude, that's all my ignore. Oh my god, I should save that ignore for the boss. Uh oh. Like, I don't think I need the Bethany, but I think the Bethany would be very nice to use because she's a toy that I don't have on my main account. So using it on a noob account provides a different experience for me, which is which is very good. I like it. All right. And then this has a higher attack bar, so I'll go for you. And then we go for the kill here. And then we cycle cooldowns for this thing right here. I need a heal too. Perfect. And then we are good to go for the boss. So I don't remember, is it male or female? We'll find out very shortly, but female boss is actually harder to do because it requires more runes. I'm not even sure I can even do this because I'm a big fat noob. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this. Okay, immunity, defense break. And the thing is, you cannot go face. You need to get a little bit lucky. And by a little bit lucky, I mean the splits here. Um, guns. So the blue one is the one that takes less damage here. So I believe this the red one absorbs attack bar for if you attack it, right? So let's see what he does here. Yeah. Oh, wait, we're revenges. Okay, so this is one of the revenges. Hmm. Speed buff here. 
And I believe the blue one does not do anything if you attack it. So I'm gonna keep using that and then reduce attack bar here. And it's okay if it revenges because I'm pretty tanky. Like these two are pretty tanky. Big nuke, uh, that's pretty good, pretty good. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, this does damage. It does do damage here. Okay, boom. And then we go for the taunt. That doesn't, it doesn't really matter if I taunt him because he doesn't work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to stun this. Perfect. And then I'm gonna reduce the attack bar on this. As long as the boss does not, does not get multiple turns to absorb it, I can keep going face. And if I be I believe it's the blue one. If the if the middle one is the blue one, I do believe he is a lot more tanky. So if you get unlucky in that regard, you're not gonna be able to go face. Okay, okay. I I need a cleanse here. Perfect. And then I have skill three coming super hot right here. Ignore, fat ignores. Ah, oh, there we go. This is W, free W. So this is basically running like a crow, right? Um, doesn't really matter what I do here. So we're stun here. Reduce the attack bar on him so he does not go absorb. Reduce attack bar again so he does not go. Like he can keep going. Like this keep attacking me. I don't. I don't care. And then big fat nuke. And this should be GGs here. Like one shot, easy peasy. Oh wait. Oh yeah, still still easy peasy. Ah, oh, very good. We're good. I thought I almost thought I almost inted there. <laughs> All right, one shot, one shot here, and we are Gucci. Boom. So I think I guess I got a little bit lucky here because if the boss was the I think is the blue one. If the boss is the blue one, you're not going to be able to nuke it. So I got a little bit lucky there for sure. So. But also in, also in the same way, if it's the red one that keeps revenging you and you lack the damage, you're going to die eventually. That's why different strategies work for this boss, but easy, lap. It, my profile right now says how many days? My profile says 19 days, but realistically, I probably could have cleared it within two weeks, like 14 days. But in the last few days, all I've been really doing is farming mana because i'm broke on mana and i'll show you the runes again on my monsters they're nothing too crazy to be honest with you like this is like you guys saw me roll these runes from the from the balance set they're not that great and this one this is my best rune by far 17 speed nothing too crazy here like i got a few double 17 rolls but i guess that's pretty crazy yeah that's, that's pretty crazy and this is ken runes okay ken runes not even max on skill 2 by the way all right the young Mav here, the young Mav is basically rocking the violence set from the Veramos fusion. So he's not doing too much. He's, he's just got a little some beater runes here. And then this one is some fatal runes, not even plus 15, just HP build. Like your crow can be HP build as long as it goes for the nuke skill here. QA complete, will I do hard? I'm gonna try, I have six days, I'm gonna auto it. But let's go ahead and collect my 100 crystals, my transcendence scroll. Oh my god, we gotta, we gotta do... Okay, I don't really care about this because a thousand crystals or whatever. So, nothing too amazing here. Let's go ahead and summon now. Before the summon session, we need to get lots of luck from the young Ash here, okay? Young Ash, young Ash, I, I sacrifice you to the calm to us gods. You must give me good luck. Okay, no more biting. Okay, she doesn't want to be held anymore. Okay, you do your own thing, cat. Okay. That luck ritual done and done. Let's go ahead. I don't want even SF rate because none of these monsters are gonna help me progress. So no SF rate because it's not it's negative gaming. And here we go. First that fire! Oh! Dude, if I got this. If I got this any earlier, I would have gotten my Sigmar fusion that much faster. But look at this. Wait, didn't I already? Wait, I, I did get a ninja before for my Susano fusion. Never mind, this is F. All right, look. Garo fuse skill up. Ash, give me good luck. Shoulder cat activated. Transcendence scroll. Give me something that will help me progress. Okay, Ash. Wait, where'd you go, Ash? Oh, wait, she's right here. You can see her. Oh, wait, this is not, safe. Not, not safe for work. I gotta cover her. Not safe for work. Okay. All right, uh, so what I want here is 
Things that help me progress. Um, Rika is a big nat 5 that help me progress here. Zyros, Perna, Perna 100% I want. If I get Perna, I can do like all the Rift pieces. Easy clap. So from the fire department, I only want Perna and Zyros. Maybe Vanessa. From the water department, what do we want here? Definitely not the water. No, no art master, please, I swear. Uh, Bistet, 100% went Bistet. Wusa would be okay, but not great. Uh, we can't go wrong with the Barbara because that unit is busted. Molong would be pretty decent too. And anything else is whatever. Actually, Varad, I, I don't even want a Varad because Varad is replaceable by like a lot of things like Poseidon, a Homunculus, a Tyrone. So a lot of things can be replaced by it, so I really don't want it. In terms of the wind department, what will help me progress here? Ash, stop eating my pants, okay? You can be on stream, but you can't eat pan pants, okay? Ash, what nat, hey, nat, Ash, what nat 5 do we want to pick? Okay, point at one of them in the screen. Never mind. Okay, scuff, scuff, cat. Okay. Sierra would be very nice. Um, Eladriel wouldn't be bad for Lunia B5. Wind Panda would be amazing. And Terranus, not bad. Savannah, obviously great for GB12, so yes. So. Definitely don't give me Thor, but Ganymede would be okay for TOA. So a lot of good potential nat vibes that we can get. Without further ado, let's go ahead and summon. Come to us. Give me the gods, please. Let's go. Please, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> You know why I hate this monster so much? This was actually my first Nat 5 that I got on my main account, hashtag Foxy. Now he's back to freaking haunt me. You, you freaking gorilla. Oh my god. This, I, mean, I guess I can use it for R5, but I'll tell you why I'm not going to use it for R5 in the next video because I got an, an OP strategy and you, some of you guys already know it, but for you who don't, oh my god. All right. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and F in the comments for this gorilla.